um, want to get some feedback. And so that's what we're here for. Uh, all right. Uh, anyone want to raise their hand and get some feedback on their work? Ashlyn, can we, oh, it says eight people in the session. Okay, so yes. I can like, see that. That's cool. No. Does that yeah. include this? <laughs> it, it does. So I did also find out, yay, we've got somebody. All right. Amara, coming up. Hello there. Oh, my cat says hello as well. Or a kid, a cat or a kid. My kids sound like cats sometimes. <laughs> uh, can you hear us? Can you try speaking so we can see if we can hear you? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Uh, we cannot hear you right now. Oh. Yeah, I see you're toggling your mic there, trying to see if you can mute and unmute. That's weird. Um, this happened yesterday, too. Did it? I, yeah. I have no idea if this would help because I just had trouble myself. But like right below your little icon, Amara, there's like an eight. It's a little square that says HD and you can click on it and you can switch to low definition and I don't know if that could help with like a bandwidth issue. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know if that's what that is, but like it's a, you know, it's a thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Worth trying. Mm -hmm. Hi, Eliana. Eliana, if you would like to raise your hand and come up here while Amara is uh, troubleshooting. We can give you some feedback on your team's work. Okay, great. Come on up, Eliana. Hey, Eliana. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, perfect. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's very early here. Sorry. I told you my face and he was like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, Mallory and Ashley. <laughs> nice to meet you too. What have you got for us? What would you like to Mallory to give you some feedback on? Okay. My first question is, is going to be recorded this session just for my partners that we can stay here? Yeah, it's it's being recorded right now. We can see. Okay. It out. That's perfect. Great question. <laughs> yeah, because he was like, okay, I'm going to ask. Let me share you my screen. Um, Are you seeing it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, we haven't finished our presentation yet, <laughs> okay. but we have, we have some information. According with what Jan tell us and the user stories, so we, we think about it and we create this in the account object. We have a chart. We try to put everything in one place. That's all here and track the account activities. That's very important for the account executive. And as well, the collaboration feature. The uh, sure. That's what we think about the accounts. And related with the lead, uh, oh, sorry. We think about the lead score field, you know, to, to give to the SDR the best part of the leads and a guidance in the lead process, a guidance to know what key fields they have and the succeed guidance as well. And we have two micros, I don't have the slide, but we have two with the email task and uh, following up local and the campaign history, really important as well, you know, marketing and and sales in this part of the process. 
And we also have the queues, two queues, high and war priority queues with the assignment rules decided by lead source or based on the lead source field. We also did the web to case and the auto response rule, if you think about it. And that's, we have that for that moment, in this moment. <laughs> it's all that we have now. <laughs> Well, I think that this looks really nice. I like the screenshots. Um, <clears throat> and this feedback might not be, um, you know, I'm not, Ashlyn, is, it would be great to you if you could um, chime in here. But, you know, maybe consider putting those user stories in the presentation. I know you said they're not finished. The presentation's not finished yet. But, like, I'd pop those in there. Um mm -hmm. Definitely, you know, just put them on a slide or, uh, if, if they're not in there already. There we go. Yay. Um, mm -hmm. So you've got those user stories there. That's lovely. And then as you demo the solution um, or just show those slides, you, you might want to consider kind of using the phrasing of like you do in the user story. Okay. So mm -hmm. don't say like we implemented a related list or something mm -hmm. like that. You can say, as an SDR, when I'm on this page, I see the related list. You know, like, um, I I don't think that this is hard and fast um, presentation or demo rules, but it's it's a valuable thing that someone, a valuable piece of advice someone gave me. But when you talk about your solution, don't say it's like the tech that is doing something. Like, don't say Salesforce is showing this. Um, mm -hmm. speak about it from that user. Um, <clears throat> so just as you're kind of going through and presenting the solution uh, and getting there, you know, say, this is what I see as an SDR mm -hmm. and I will use this campaign history to see all of these things. So those are just some very uh, fine points on the notes. Like everything's looking really good, first of all. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the, uh, as you go through the user stories, you know, you can speak more like a consultant. Like we've, we've developed these user stories by, you know, talking with sales development representatives, et cetera. But when you get to those screenshots, um, you could speak in a little different form, which I think might be uh, just a little, well, there's add an element of, of polish to it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I know you're not demoing a live solution, Mm -hmm. so that's okay but that was a piece of feedback I got like after my first demo uh from a, a mentor of mine was to speak as though you know definitely speak from the point of view of the user who's using the technology so yeah it looks it looks beautiful um uh I'm trying to think of you know I know you'll I know you'll fill in any gaps uh from the presentation it didn't need to be finished today so no worries there um are you on the team with Inkiru is that right yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Yeah, well, if she gets to watch this, hello. She messaged me. She said she'd like lost her laptop and all that. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Great job. Great job. Like, you know, getting through those challenges um, that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, she's, on, going on, to, she's going to do it better than me, of course. Okay. So, <laughs> but great job getting through those challenges. Wonderful. Speak like that. Um, and then if you wanted to get fancy which you don't have to, but mm -hmm. on those slides where you have the arrows, like, you know, you have the screenshot and then you're like lead, you know, source mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could animate those to come in. Okay. You know, well, yeah, uh, yeah, once yeah. again, this is not, not required. I'm offering this mm -hmm. up because everything looks so good as it is right now. Now, this would mean that you'd need to think about the order in which you're going to talk about things. Okay. So, you know, you click a button and the lead source kind of highlight, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. comes up. Right. And so you're like, and we're doing lead source and we're doing this and we're doing that, mm -hmm. that you don't want to get too crazy with the animations in a presentation for sure. Mm -hmm. But what that can do is make things a little less, um, Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of red marks all over mm -hmm. the screenshot okay. and it can help your uh, viewer to focus on the next thing mm -hmm. you're talking about all over the screen. So yeah, yeah once again, super, super, uh, uh, 
you know, nitpicky and kind of getting in the weeds because I think uh, the presentation looks very nice. So it's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. This is just an intro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very You're a wonderful place. Okay. So we have everything. Yeah. The question that Paula told me, I think, yeah, you are suggesting what we need to do. Thank yes. you so much, Mallory, and great for your Cell Scout certification. I saw you. In oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> good for you. Really good. Congrats. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you, Eliana. Okay, bye. Bye, Eliana. Is Paula, are you on Eliana's team as well? Someone in the chat, maybe? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so we've seen your team. Awesome. Um, Paula, you are welcome to come up and say something if you have thoughts, too. Amara, have we um, been able to figure out our, your mic at all or turn down the definition or do anything? I feel like we had this problem with you before on a, on a call. So um, I'm sorry, we haven't resolved it yet. Yeah, I wish, I wish we. Um, Amara, if you would like to send uh, either in Slack or here a link uh, maybe you have a link to a, a slide deck um, or something you can send that to us and we can pull it up here and and speak with you via the chat and just give you some feedback um, no 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 don't feel bad if you if you can send us a link that would be great um, either like a screenshot if it's a hard to share document or if it is a you know a Google slides link we can all open it and uh, pull it up here for you I'm looking at the Black Cherry Slack channel. Mm -hmm. um, so if you Ooh. send a link in there, I, they've been working hard, <laughs> super hard over there. <laughs> yes. I also see, um, Muhammad, you're there. You're here too. So if you want to maybe, I know Amara is maybe tasked with presenting to, to Mallory, but if you want to help your teammate out and maybe you can come up um, as well. And see if your your mic is working. Talk about a real world situation. It really, really, truly is. Yep. Okay, y'all. I am going to pull up something <laughs> from your Slack channel, and Mallory is going to give some feedback okay. on it, whether you guys like it or not. All right, let me pull it up. Um. This is the reference architecture diagram that Muhammad created and sharing my screen. And go, there we go. All right. Okay, business drivers. Okay, looking good so far. I think it's just this one page okay so yeah. if this is our reference architecture diagram are they supposed to be a little bit more in depth ashlyn like a little bit more like from object to object or is this kind of like as sorry i yeah I'm the, gonna... I, the format of this i wouldn't say seems like the way that we uh that our reference architecture diagrams were presented um uh -huh. it's it looks Maybe it's a template that is that we still in progress there. Uh huh. Yep. I mean, all of the the icons certainly are part of the reference architecture diagrams, but mm -hmm. um, they they are definitely part of a diagram. And this isn't really diagrammed. Um. So I don't know, Muhammad or maybe Amara. Can you guys share what you're trying to communicate here, and then uh, Mallory can maybe give some feedback on format. either maybe just throw something in the chat and we'll read it out. I do want to say that I was in the channel a few days ago and the user stories were looking great. We had some updated user stories looking really good. So with the reference architecture diagram, you know, the word architecture is, you know, I think everybody has a, different like idea about it before they get into the tech world and then 
you get into the tech world, you find out what that means. You know, here, I mean, definitely I think of architect as someone who's designing buildings, right? So it really, um, you know, I know this is probably work in progress. So this isn't direct feedback, you know, necessarily towards this, but um, when you're creating those diagrams, it really does show the, the flow of data, you know, uh, how the data walks through um, the organization, how people interact with it, you know, what is done. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. so this is what Garov shared with us. Um, do I need to zoom in at all? Zoom in a little bit. Maybe just a tad. So this is a big, I like this big picture one. I think, I think that that's kind of where they're starting off with here. Um, so it kind of shows, you know, where things flow in and out and what's it's, it's about relationships, right? Okay. You know, um, if you, I wish I could find like a, okay, here we go. Getting like a little bit more granular. You can get even more granular. This is something we do on the digital engagement team. Over in digital engagement, we've got a specific set of objects. So what you all are working with in this scenario, you know, the account, the leads, um, some campaigns, things like that. Nice, um, very well documented, you know, Salesforce objects. Okay. Uh, in digital engagement, you know, we're drilling down, down, down to things like messaging session and um, messaging user and things like that. So we'll, sh we, sometimes we need to show the client like where things are created at what point it gets, you know, thrown into a queue. So anyway, they can get a lot more granular. Okay. Amara, two reference diagrams. Okay. So um, Amara says feedback on the idea towards creating it. So yeah, definitely get a little bit more like, so you've got your business drivers there, but we don't have the specific, like how everything is working together. Like we need to know how I'm pulling it up again, how things, yeah. Um, how things work together in your solution. Okay. Like how you, how you've put that together. Okay. So that's, that's the feedback I can give there, but it's a good start. Um, definitely the diagram should show the, how all those parts are fitting together and how the data is flowing. Okay. So maybe check out that video um, again and uh, do, does he want them to use lucid chart or just like these? No, um, you guys can use whatever tool you want to use. Um, I think just as Garab went over, um, although he was showing us with lucid chart. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it, it, it might be good to go back and, and watch his, the working session again um, a little bit. And yeah, I actually, pa Paula has had her hand raised for a second. I don't know okay. if you have thoughts on what's up on the screen, Paula. So I'll just bring you up. Hey, Paula. Paula, can you hear us? We cannot hear you yet. Okay, while you're doing that, I have, um, I'm going to also pull up. Oh, I just heard somebody. Can you yes, we can oh, hear you, Paula. <laughs> okay, Paula. Oh, no, now she can't hear us. Oh. Uh, yeah, not now. Now he's working. Yeah. Okay, good. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mallory. Ashwin, thank you. Thank you for opening this space for yeah. us. Yes, of course. So, <laughs> just real quick, uh, really quick. I, uh, Eliana, just show you the presentation, but we have, uh, as a team, we we are concerned about maybe it's, uh, we have a long presentation. So I don't know if I can show you like a really quick like, outline of the presentation, like go through the presentation really, really quick. Uh, so you can tell us in which topics we should focus on. We understand that the uh, solution is is important, but maybe we added something that maybe we can yeah, just get rid of that and 
-hmm. focus on the solution. Can I share my screen? Yeah. yeah. So you want to know where to trim? Because you guys do have yeah. you have yeah, six, because, you have I mean, six have, minutes to present, right? Yeah, that, yeah. That, I would say that think about that. I mean, it depends on how long you actually get to present your solution, right? So if you have six minutes, um, think about that. But go ahead, share your screen. I'd love to see. Okay. Do you see my screen? We do. We're seeing your air meet window. No, now we're seeing your presentation. Now, now you can see it, right? Yes. 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 Okay. So this is the same one we were just seeing with. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. we have. We are going to present the team, uh, the business, uh, the business case, like a really, in a, a summary. Uh, the journey that we have uh, during this click experience. Um, I just want to flag. I want to flag the journey that might be one thing you take out. Yeah. Okay. Thank I you. think a lot of this context setting up here, maybe. Yeah, you, you might want to clip it because it's this is going to be true for every team that's presenting, and it's a known context across all of them. So I would I would probably skip as quickly as you can to here's what we did and here's our solution. Perfect. Great. Thank Especially you. in a real world situation. I mean, you might want to think about this in a real world situation. If you're presenting and to people who you've already introduced yourself to, don't yeah. introduce yourself again. If you do find yourself in a place where you're demoing to a completely new audience, yes, a brief introduction is fine, but I uh, agreed uh, with Ashlyn, take out some of the context because you're talking to people who are um, familiar with it. Of course, in the real world, you could have a new audience. So okay. it's not bad that you created those things or anything, but um, yeah. Do you think it's necessary, based on that, do you think it's necessary to present the, the persona? persona? Uh, I would maybe recommend doing a one persona slide and be like, we have created solutions for Stedman and, uh, you know, whoever their names are, just, just uh -huh. the gray um, rectangle. Okay. You could maybe you could maybe just include, you know, that part and literally just say, these are the people, you know, uh, who we've created solutions for or something like that. Perfect. Then we have, well, then we have the user stories, as you said, it's very important. And we're going to base the presentation based on, we're going to base the presentation on user stories and solution. We probably, I mean, this is. Don't need that. Yeah, they've already bought Salesforce. You don't need mm -hmm. to sell them Salesforce. Okay. This is just features of Salesforce, the implementation strategy. This is like a summary of the solution. I wouldn't worry about that um, either in this um, because this is your final presentation. So they already know you went through the discovery. They already know you did, you know, things like that. Um, I guess implementation strategy. I don't know if I'd recommend that. Reference yeah. architecture, I'd definitely pop that in there. Um, they want to see that. Okay. Uh, okay. This is just for the solution that we have to maybe get some the most important ones the most important features that we want to show and then we have again the solution overview maybe that is like could be repetitive actually this slide i would almost re put up at the like replace the implementation strategy slide with this slide like because okay. you're presenting the solution you know right now uh so maybe maybe just get rid of that other one and do this one Perfect. And then we have the impact uh, of the project. Do we know um, this? Do we know the impact? <laughs> no, well, I mean, we can make up the impact, but not, not really. Like, Would so, this be something that you would know at this point, Mallory? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what no. I was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I get, I mean. Projected, you, projected business impact, I guess. Ah, uh, projected, okay. Yeah, that's good. I and would, well, I would the, take out though the projected business impact. I think that's something it's, it could work in a different part of the engagement, but I just don't, if you're looking for time, right, Ashlyn, do, do you agree yeah. with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. And final, the, the, the observation, the challenge and the key takeaway that uh, we should include, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. No, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your, the suggestions. Great. Great, and then you guys practice. are going to do awesome, Paula. 
Yeah, practice. See if it's going to be under six minutes. I know I gave that feedback about like the little animations and stuff. Maybe that's not going to work in the in the time frame, you know. Uh, so if if we're kind of being really high level um, and you've got six minutes and you're doing this for your stakeholders, you can say, this is a highlight of what we're doing on the leads object so that the SDR can do blah, blah, blah. Okay. And we will be, you know, if you want to reference this again, we'll be sending these slides along, you know, something like that is what I would say in a, in a real meeting where I had limited time. Um, and it was important for them to know that I know the details, um, but that I couldn't explain every single detail. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks, Paula. Awesome. Uh, we have one minute left, but there was a question here from uh, Namaka. How does the architectural diagram tie in with the POC? So basically, how it, where does that live in the process? And uh, I guess, what place does it have in the POC presentation demo? Well, your reference architecture diagram... You know, I guess uh, with that presentation that was just given, I thought they had it in a good place. It was kind of like before they got into what they did, like on each object or, or something like that. So it's an overview of like, if you really implemented this in the org, it would be like, we get leads from, you know, the website and then the leads go here and then they become, you know, contacts and this is what we do with them, et cetera, et cetera. So um, in terms of like when I would present it, you know, rather early on. Um, and this explains a bit of the, it shows that you've done the work to make sure that like all of those pieces are technically fitting together. I hope that answers that question. Ashlyn, do you have any further clarification on that point? Does that make sense? Um, I, yeah, no, that made sense to me. Um, so we saw from Bubble Mint, we saw from Black Cherry, Tutti Fruity. I actually saw, that was Niamaka. And I saw, we saw you yesterday a little bit. Um, coffee syrup. Let's see. Um, is anybody from coffee syrup here today? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Sorry if you can hear the screaming children. Um, oh yeah, we're at Namaka. I think we're going to wrap here, uh, since we're at time. Um, but if you would like to, uh, send a message to the, the channel and tag us, we can, we can get that answer for you. I think Mallory, you're frozen on my end, but oh, no, I'm here. I'm oh, here. wow. You're okay, just so I'm still really okay. still. <laughs> um, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I hope this was helpful. Again, you are doing great work and you have some more time to uh, clarify all of your, your slides and your presentation and practice. Um, Amara, uh, certainly, you know, throw something in the channel and, and tag us uh, for some, some async feedback uh, since we're at time, but thank you guys. And uh, we'll definitely see you at the presentations. We're excited. Okay. See you Bye, later. Everybody. Bye.